2023 has definitely been the year of the sports wearable earbud with manufacturers scrambling to bring all of the latest tech into their open ear designs, their air conduction and bone conduction headphones. Slightly late to the party, one more have released two new products in this segment and it's their Fit Open Earbuds S50 that we're taking a look at today. The S50 retail at £149.99, however I've included a voucher code in the description that takes the price down to £121.12 and that's valid until the 31st of October 23. Without wanting to give the game away from the review too much, I think that's an absolute bargain for what I consider to be the best set of open earbuds on the market today. And that's quite the achievement because if you look at my sports earbuds playlist, you'll see that I've tested quite a few. And pretty much all of them have fallen short in some way, whether it's been comfort, stability, audio quality, features, none of them have really hit the spot so far. But with one more's acoustic engine and four-time Grammy Award winner Luca Bignardi bringing his experience and expertise to the tuning, not to mention one more's unique ear loop style design that truly makes the S50 one of a kind and an impressive array of features as well. I had a feeling that one more were going to deliver me that perfect set of open ears and they're pretty damn close. And when you're priced above that $100 mark, getting the unboxing right is I think infinitely more important. No one wants to give out a cheap tatty looking box as a gift and whilst it won't trump the earbuds sounding good, it's nice to see manufacturers paying attention in these areas. The One More Fit comes in an impressive large outer enclosure that screams no expense spared. There's some images of the product on the front and a full synopsis of the features and parameters on the back. And the excitement doesn't stop there. Locate the gold kind of magnetic lock that holds the box shut on the right hand side. Flip it open and you're treated to some beautiful freehand sketches of the S50. Now I've seen this before on One More products but it's been a while and I have to say I'm still equally impressed looking at it now. Once inside you get your first sighting of the buds and case, everything held in very professionally. Behind that you've got a couple of cardboard inlays which hold the accessories of which you're actually getting quite a bit. You've got a QR code that gives you access to tech support and allows you to register the product. And a user guide which is in English, simplified and traditional Chinese, Korean, Japanese, a bunch of European languages, Turkish and Russian. And it makes really good use of diagrams and simple text here to explain each of the features and functions. You're also getting a USB USB A to C charge cable to allow you to charge the case. You have four different sized ear loops as one more call them. They're not tips. I've seen some confusion out there where people have thought that they are. These aren't going inside your ear canal. They wear in a slightly different way. I'll go into more detail on that in the ergonomics and fit section. One more have also included a small drawstring bag that's really convenient for holding the tips and the charge cable. As far as unboxings go though, it's exquisite, it's extravagant, and if I received this as a gift, I'd be delighted and intrigued in equal measures. Now getting the charge case right for open earbuds, which tend to be quite a bit larger and take a bit more real estate than TWS, has been a real challenge for manufacturers so far. But one more seemed to have cracked it with a really attractive looking case that has pretty much all the features that you could possibly want from a charge case. They've included hall switch mode, quick charge, wireless charging, there's an LED on the front which denotes how much charge is remaining and it's actually reasonably portable as well fitting in the palm of your hand. It's finished in a light silver matte colour that shimmers nicely in the sunlight You'll have to take my word for it, we don't get much sunlight this time of year here in the UK. And despite probably your first impressions of the size of the case, for open earbuds it's actually pretty portable. It's only weighing just over 80 grams and it measures 86mm by 56.5mm by 30mm. That makes it much more compact and much more portable than most of the competition of a similar ilk. And it's the only charge case that fits in the front pouch of my running vest. So top marks to one more for getting that portability down to a manageable level. 
and the usability of the case is pretty straightforward. Each side bud sits in the corresponding side of the case with the control units set together in the middle. There's a nice magnetic pull, not too strong but not too loose, pulling the buds in and holding them firmly into place. The hinge also has quite some friction to it, so if it shakes around in the wind or you're moving around when you're taking the buds out, it won't slam shut on you. And on the inside, in the middle, there's a reset pairing button. Hold it down for eight seconds and that will clear your pairing history. But also, if your buds have gone into single mode, if you triple tap that button, it will take them back into dual mode. At the front, you've got a battery indication LED and located at the back is a beveled USB-C charge connector. And when you put it on charge, the LED stays on, giving you an idea of how much batteries remain in the case. Green is above 80%, amber is 20 to 80%, and red is below 20%. It takes about 90 minutes to charge the case up to 100%, and you can charge it using USB-C or Qi wireless charging. Just remember it will take a little bit longer if you're charging it wirelessly. And this is usually the point where I start moaning about the fact that the product doesn't have quick charge, but on this occasion it does. You're getting an extra two hours worth of playtime for five minutes worth of juice, a handy feature that should definitely not be underestimated. Now in terms of the design and the ergonomics, there are a few fundamentals that the manufacturers have to get right with open earbuds. They can't protrude too much, they have to get the looks right, but also the build quality has to be sufficient, they'll be able to withstand extreme weather conditions, and also they have to be comfortable and designed with longevity in mind because you'll be using these for quite long periods if you're using them for runs and bike rides. Typically these sorts of designs can be a little cumbersome, but the S50 is easily one of the most attractive looking open ear sets I've seen yet. In two-tone grey silver with the bottom areas in brushed metallic to match the case you've got the one more logo across the side and it's here that the touch controls are activated and usually i'm not a fan of touch controls with open ear design earbuds but on this model they just work because the touch sensitive area is quite large and one more have removed single touch to negate accidental touches with some open earbuds, you find that you miss the touch sensor altogether or you tap it too many times, but I just never had that problem with the S50. And flip the earbud over to the other side and this is where you see the S50 look completely different to any other open earbud on the market. This isn't a silicone tip, it doesn't go deep inside your ear canal. Instead, what it's designed to do is rest against your anti-helix, which is much more comfortable and stable than having a piece of plastic stuck against your tragus. And it's this unique design that hugely benefits comfort and stability. Here you see them passing the shake test with flying colours. But it's not just that, it channels the audio in the right direction rather than bouncing around your conker. As a result, you don't get that kind of whistling sound when you've got high winds of that audio bounce back that I have experienced with other open ear designs. The ear loops come in three different sizes, small, medium and large, so they pretty much got you covered regardless of the size of your ear. They also include a micro size, which is essentially not having one of those ear loops in your ear. And I found this also quite useful for certain activities. If you're a side sleeper or if you're just lying down on the couch, they're actually really comfortable for this use. And whilst they do wear a bit looser with this size, you can actually still run with them. And because I like to interchange between that medium size and then the, the very smallest size, the cover that you can see here, that's where having something like the drawstring bag that you saw in the accessories and unboxing section comes in really useful for storing them and carrying them around. Now the memory wire that comprises the ear hook is very malleable, it stays in place if you want to move it in a specific direction and it's also covered in a soft rubberized finish which doesn't pinch against your ear and it's very soft against your skin. It's also sufficiently thin that you can use it when you're wearing glasses as you'll see in one of the scenes later in the review. And the IPX7 water resistance rating of this product is pretty much best in class. And of course it allows you to use the earbuds in so many different scenarios. If you're using them for long hikes and you're out exposed to the elements constantly, then you don't have the worry that the water ingress is gonna cause a problem for the product. Even if you're doing extreme sports, 
Tough Mudder and events like that and you want an audio companion, then again, the S50 is going to have you covered. And when we look at using the S50 for specific exercises, I particularly enjoyed using them whilst out cycling on the bike. They fit well with a helmet, the straps don't kind of get in the way of the ear hook, and they also wear well with sunglasses, even if you've lost your wraparound glasses and you have to pick up a pair of random sunglasses that you found in your room just for testing purposes, they still fit pretty well. The volume of the product is excellent as well. If you're in a really built up area and it's really noisy, you'll still be able to hear your music. They're also excellent for outdoor running, giving you great stability and situational awareness. The secure fit and IPX7 rating means that they're ideal for use in the gym as well. Whether you're using them to do weights or the cables, if you're using them for resistance training, for example, or even if you're using them for cardio, regardless of what the activity or exercise is, that added stability that you get with the S50 is going to come in really useful. Now onto the audio, and I'm always reminded with one more product that four-time Grammy Award winning Luca Bignardi is involved with the tuning of each and every one of their products. And his magic touch is evident here again with the S50, definitely punching above their weight in the audio department. The sound on so many open earbuds can be a little bit hollow, or if the bass is emphasized, then you can get quite a bit of distortion. You don't have any of those problems on the S50. One More's pure power driver technology is designed to get you maximum volume and energy without giving you any distortion on your lower frequencies. And it certainly does that. These things are seriously loud. One More's acoustic engine incorporates a dual magnetic circuit design, enhancing the driving force of the magnetic coil by over 40%, significantly improving the sensitivity. As a result, you're getting clearer high frequency sound, more accurate reproduction and better dynamic range. And the 13.6 mil dynamic drivers have been tuned with clarity, detail and longevity in mind. This translates to a pleasant, Moorish audio experience that has seen the S50 very quickly become my go-to for long runs and bike rides. Take a look at the lower frequencies first. It's quite lean in the sub bass area as you would expect. At 50 to 150 hertz, you've got a tight bass response that has sufficient body without sounding bloated or distorted. As far as open earbuds are concerned, what they lack in bass quantity, they more than make up for in bass quality. When you're listening to pop, house or techno, there's plenty of punch to kick drums and sufficient weight to bass lines to prevent tracks from sounding too thin or limp. With tracks with a lot of mid bass, so your 80s and your present day rock, I would say they sound more smooth than energetic. There's good harmonics and an articulate sound that's kept lean to avoid distortion or bleed. This translates well into open ear style where you often have to turn the volume up to maximize the audio given your surroundings. Moving into the mid-range, and this is probably where the S50 shine the most. Pianos and guitars sound realistic, and vocals pop out nicely. They never sound disattached, but they separate out from instruments really well. Female vocals are perhaps a little bit more prominent, retaining those gaspy qualities, whereas male vocals probably have a bit more body and a bit more depth. The trebles aren't ignored either, and there's great texture to percussion. I was able to pick out easily snares, tams and castanets. Claps are perhaps a little bit subdued, but again, this comes back to benefiting the style of earbud, reducing that fatigue as much as possible whilst retaining definition. There's also lots of air to the sound as well, and it can make that sound stage a little bit more expansive sounding. And this is what you want, right? An open sound in an open earbud. The staging is very good considering the form factor. They're nice and open and airy with better than average depth and height for open earbuds. And the imaging on this model is again much better than a lot of their competitors. It's very straightforward to locate instruments from all different areas of the stage. Not only that, but you've got lots of presets which you can activate to change the sound a little bit and tweak it to your personal preference. There's no custom or parametric equalizer, but I found most of the presets are actually pretty usable. If you're not satisfied with the amount of bass, then Bass Booster will do the job for you there. 
For me, these things are the best sounding open earbuds on the market today, and I've tried pretty much all of them. Now, dealing with environmental noise on your voice calls is another area where the S50 shine. They come with four mics and AI environmental noise reduction. It does a really good job of negating the majority of your environmental sounds, both in busy indoor and external environments. I'm gonna take you through a few different scenarios in a moment, but first, let's have a listen to how they sound when you're at home and you've got no ambient sound going on around you whatsoever. So this is how the One More Fit Open S50 earbuds sound in a quiet room where you've got absolutely no ambient sound whatsoever. What we're looking for here is the weight, the tone and the clarity of your voice. And this time we're testing the One More Fit S50 in a busy indoor environment. Maybe you're out for a run, you're out for a cycle, something like that, and you pop into a pub or a coffee shop like I am uh, to make or take a call when you've got the sounds of industry chatter going on, when you've got the kind of the clanging of the, the tableware, where this is how you can expect it to perform. And it's a similar sort of thing if you're using them in a busy office or a busy college corridor, school corridor, something like that. It's similar kinds of sounds that are going to infiltrate your thoughts. And for me, it's these real-life environment tests that are the best barometer for how it's going to perform. Okay, so we're testing. So one more fit, open S50 in an outdoor environment where you've got a mixture of traffic noises, mostly traffic noises actually, trying to get in the way of your call. What we're trying to replicate here is how it's going to sound in a busy town when you're on the daily commute and you're having to walk through lots of busy roads where you've got a lot of cars coming by and uh, a lot of lorries, you know, all those sorts of things that can get in the way of you trying to make or take a call. I've made sure that we're in the same location as the 2023 Outdoor Call Quality Test Series so that you've got some consistency there. You can check how they perform in comparison to some of those other buds. Testing the one more S50 fit. Again, in an outdoor environment, this time it's a little bit of a wind trap, so you've definitely got more wind noise coming through. You've also got some of the sounds of traffic coming past as well. Mostly it's the wind, and that is one factor which is quite difficult to test at times because if you don't have a windy day, then there's not really much opportunity for me to put these birds through their paces. But we've got quite a bit of wind here now, so I'm really interested to hear how they perform. Now, as you heard there, they cope with environmental sounds pretty well, as they said they would in the marketing material. Indoors, in that busy scene, it tended to cope with pretty much the majority of environmental sounds and it elevates your voice above the kind of indistinct chatter, which is almost completely muted, although not altogether. But otherwise, I think it's a very good performance indoors and outdoors even better as well. It deals with wind quite comfortably. Still, you can hear the wind, but you could still make out every word which I was saying on those calls. In terms of other features, the S50 has a long list, all of which are really useful. This is facilitated in no small part by the Aeroa Bluetooth 5.3 chipset, and it's giving you excellent range. When I accidentally left it connected to my laptop and I was supposed to be listening to a Teams call, completely forgot I was, and went wandering across the office, I still had connection at around 15 meters and it only started to degrade around 20 meters. So that's testament to the stability of the connection. Also, when I was out and about, even in busy cities, I didn't have any connection drops whilst out on the bike or out for a run. And whilst the chipset facilitates a lot of those features, the One More Music app delivers them. The app is actually a pleasant experience. There's no requirement for a username and password login. That's something that usually switches me off to TWS app straight away. So it was good to see there was no requirement for that. You'll probably get a notification that you're required to update your firmware. And I have to say it wasn't too painful. It updated within a couple of minutes. On the main menu screen, you get to see how much battery is remaining in the buds and the case. Not a lot of apps tell you the case as well. So that was good to see. And you've got seven individual options. Now, if we take a look again at the buds, you'll see that just above the battery connectors, there's an ear detection sensor. The first main menu item is smart playback, and it's here that you configure that detection sensor. You can have it as auto pause only, 
auto pause and play or no smart playback. And like with pretty much all the features I found it worked really well. Custom settings is the next one and this allows you to modify the touch controls. You can only modify double and triple tap but you've got full functionality so you can change them to volume if you like and you can have it in pretty much any configuration that you want. Low latency is effectively gaming mode. I found even without this you had lip synchronization on videos but with low latency mode enabled, you'll probably get better performance for casual gaming. Presets are in the equalizer section. We already covered this in the audio bit. There's a quick guide that shows you how to operate the product. And there's also a soothing sound section that allows you to play a bunch of ASMR style sounds. I guess if you're using them to fall asleep, this could be useful. Except I didn't really find that it was because the loop would end and then you get a little pause with some white noise in. So I think this is something that one more could perhaps brush up ready for the next release. In the top right hand corner, if you press on the one more logo, you'll get some other features like smart burning. This is a built in test for between 40 minutes and two hours designed to train the audio experience of the earbuds. And you'll notice here that multi point or dual device connectors, one more call it, isn't enabled by default so here is where you enable it. A multi-point is very good on this model. It did take me a while to get the two devices connected simultaneously but once it is one thing that I noticed is that from the moment you pause the primary device and activate the secondary device there's pretty much no delay whatsoever before you can hear that second device. Now battery life isn't quite at the marathon levels of some open earbuds but with 13 hours and in my test it wasn't far off 13 hours actually despite the fact that I was using multi-point and making some voice calls and I'd switch to low latency mode periodically as part of the testing I still got only just shy of 13 hours and I think that is more than enough for the average consumer probably it's going to outlast that if you're just out for a bike ride and just listening to music at an acceptable volume remember because these are quite loud you don't need to have it maxed out at 100% all the time which has been the case with some open earbuds. So that means the 38 hours that you're getting with the case is actually quite accurate. Again, this is a respectable amount of time, more than enough for the average user, certainly if you're using them over a long weekend and you can't necessarily get to a charging point. But even if you can, let's say you're able to plug them in in the car, something like that, you'll get an extra two hours worth of charge from just five minutes plugged in. Again, a massive tip of the hat to one more here because so often we don't see quick charge included. And when we do, it's really pleasing to see it. So to summarize, the S50 have ended my search for the perfect set of open earbuds throughout 2023, giving me pretty much everything that I can want for a product of this ilk. You've got excellent sound, good enough call quality, IPX7 water resistance rating, loads of functionality through the app, great ergonomics, great comfort. You've got lots of flexibility with those different ear loops, stroke tips, whatever you want to call them to improve the comfort in different scenarios. And you've got loads of useful other features as well, like multi-point, like low latency mode, the ability to customize your buttons and that quick charge feature as well. It really is the whole package I'm really impressed with this product and I'd urge you to consider it if you're looking for a premium top end set of open earbuds. Remember there's a voucher code in the description that can allow you to get this product for a little bit cheaper. If you've made it this far into review, a big thank you for watching. Please do give the video a like if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For now it's Reagan Cypher, signing off.